Hello everyone, I'm Cindy Hill and I'm the Senior Manager for the Federal Reserve uh, Bank of San Francisco and I manage the Research Library and Economic Research Archives. And I'm a member of IFLA's Management and Marketing Standing Committee. This year we are commemorating and celebrating our 25th anniversary. As part of our celebration, we are interviewing some of our founders and longtime members to learn more about how and why M&M was formed and how management and marketing endeavors have influenced our own libraries and other libraries around the world. I want to thank the groups involved in making the interviews possible, which include the M&M group, especially the 25th anniversary team, and the Library History Special Interest Group, and the Oral History Group, and the Continuing Professional Development and Workplace Learning Podcast Team. I am honored to speak with Antonia Arovich. Antonia, please pronounce your last name for me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Today. <laughs> Tonya has been a longtime member of IFLA, holding many prestigious roles and has contributed many years of her experiences and talents to M&M with enthusiasm and knowledge. I met Antonia many years ago and I just fell in love with her, her enthusiasm, her exuberance for all things library and all things people. So welcome, Tonya. Will you, and will you take a few moments to tell us more about your career and how you first became interested in library work relating to management and or marketing? Thank you so much, Sidi. It's such a great pleasure, uh, this interview. For me, it's a, it's a talk between friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you for many, many years. Thank you very much for your very kind words. It was the same for me. It was mutual. I fell in love with... Uh, you and many other colleagues uh, that we are friends, we are happen to be friends. So um, it's, uh, it's the anniversary, the 25 years anniversary of management and marketing. And I can't really believe thinking of the past, how many years uh, myself and many other people, they are involved in this amazing uh, section. Um, first, I joined uh, management and marketing uh, by coincidence. I was um, told my boss uh, when I was working in the National Library uh, in 2001 because she couldn't uh, um, uh, participate in uh, uh, that IFLA conference in Boston mm -hmm. that I should go because it will be a great opportunity for my career and also my life. I looked at her a little bit in a strange way, saying, okay, it's a conference. And she told me, no, it's not a conference. Um, she was about to, to retire. And she told me, um, we worked together the last six years. It's your time now to go to IFLA. So um, I was in Boston. And uh, I decided among this huge number right. of sessions to attend the management and marketing section, session. And uh, there I was really thrilled by the atmosphere and also by the high level of, re of the presentations. Mm. And after that, after 2001, I fell in love with IFLA. I was not sure how many, how huge and uh, how huge labyrinth the organization is, but um, I thought this this is really quite uh, something, especially meeting people from the management and marketing section. So this was um, my first meeting, let's say, with uh, the section. So I do remember that Boston conference, um, and I, that was one of the first ones I went to also. And it was, it was overwhelming how many opportunities there were, how many people to meet. So it's really great to hear your perspective of it. Um, so please describe um, how you learned about M and M and how you got involved with it. What specifically interests you about it? Yeah. Uh, well, after 2001, uh, to, to keep the story mm -hmm. going, into, it was 2004. And as um, uh, you, Cindy, and all the people that the, perhaps they, are, they will listen to this interview, 2004, Athens was the host town of the Olympic Games. 
Despite this, I decided to send an abstract for the satellite meeting organized by management marketing section of IFLA in Sao Paulo about um, uh, the virtual customer, wow. a new paradigm for improving customer relation, uh, in relations in libraries and information services. Everybody and all my friends and family thought that I, I was a lunatic to leave Athens uh, in August 2004 and to go to Sao Paulo, especially if we also think that it's freezing <laughs> uh, and we had summer because it's the other part of the world. I wasn't sure because I was very young. It was uh, almost 20 years um, ago and I was not sure at all that um, my abstract uh, will be approved. I was uh, just starting my PhD and uh, my thing was about electronic services. My abstract was approved and uh, the day of the opening of the Olympic Games, I was in a plane traveling to Sao Paulo. Uh, and I, I had uh, the greatest pleasure, one of the greatest pleasures of my life, uh, to, to meet all these amazing um, people uh, there, some of the founding members, and to share the uh, enthusiasm uh, about um, uh, marketing and especially marketing of electronic and virtual services. Mm. This uh, paper was published in a special uh, volume uh, edited by um, uh, Rezan Sava and Esueli Mara Ferreira, who actually were the two professors uh, who had organized this satellite uh, meeting by De Gruyter. So it was my first international paper, let's say, and um, uh, I, I had the chance then to, to work in the mar marketing um, and management field with um, these amazing people. Some of them, they are, uh, we are friends together for life, like Rezan Savar and um, uh, Christy Coons. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like m and the management and marketing uh, section had an impact on you and on your career path. Does that sound right? Yes. Um, I, yep. I, I, I would like to, to quote a JFK that leadership and learning is indispensable together. And I would like to say that I was quite young. I was working uh, for less than um, uh, 10 years in 2004 in the National Library of Greece. And um, I had a good CV already, but I wanted uh, you know, to, um, to raise in, in the levels of leadership. And, uh, of course, one of my dreams was to be, become the head of the National Library. For me, uh, the marketing is one of the most, um, important, uh, topics in, uh, business, but also in libraries. Libraries are the most important from my point of view, along with museums and galleries cultural, educational, and social hubs. So if you promote your activities, your services, and um, your collections, and you know the way that you build uh, communities, I think it's the most important to become a good library. Um, they say that bad libraries uh, are built on collections, good libraries built on uh. services, but great libraries built on communities. And as a very social oriented person, I really believe in communities. So for me, marketing, it's, uh, it was really a, a very important uh, part of the um, activities of the library uh, and especially of the national library where I was working for almost all my life. So when you were part of m and were there any special projects that you worked on? Were you part of the jury selection process or anything else? Yes, it is. As, um, as you remember, I, I was for um, uh, eight years member of the jury of the uh, IFLA International Marketing Award, and this was um, a, a hell of a lot of work um, to, to, to do. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> reading all these, maybe some sometimes hundreds of library projects, mm -hmm. but getting fascinated uh, by the innovation, by the new ideas, uh, by um, the way that uh, 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 that uh, libraries they are, they were using their potentiality and uh, their funds and uh, their human resources in order to to, to market themselves. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it was one of the most fascinating. Uh, projects I have been involved and because I am a team worker uh, I think it was uh, what what really um, uh, made and makes uh, this award really so so important is that uh, the people we are in the jury they are uh, not only uh, good professionals in marketing but also they have this fair judge um, of uh, selecting uh, the best projects, and also they work. At least I, when I I, I, I was mm -hmm. a member in the, of this team, uh, we were working so smoothly together. Even e e when we we had different uh, opinions, but it was this democratic exchange right. of uh, of ideas, which really is the most important, I think, in uh, in uh, in a committee, in a project. Uh, in an organization. It's the democratic mm -hmm. and the respect between each other. And one of the things I found so fascinating when I was on the jury was how it didn't matter how big the library was or how small. It was really about what was it that they were marketing and how they came through with it. So I remember looking at, at those hundreds of proposals and some of them had very, very tiny budgets and they came out on top. It was just incredible their, what they were able to do with very little. Um, you know, Definitely role models for large libraries and for small libraries. So one of the things that we're always trying to figure out is how to get more people involved in IFLA. Um, I remember when I started, it was only because a friend kept recommending it to me year over year over year. And I finally said, yes, I will go to IFLA. And it was an eye-opening situation, but it was very difficult for me to understand its organization and how to get involved. So do you have any advice for people that are, are thinking about IFLA? Well, um, uh, as we used to say, when we join an organization, everybody has its different aspect for this organization. Right. Uh, my IFLA is different from an IFLA of somebody else. I can I can talk about my IFLA, which is a really complicated organization. <laughs> I, uh, even when I was elected as president-elect, I, I had to, uh, to, to read again and again very thoroughly and um, in order to understand all these um, different sections, the SIGs, and so on, uh, even though we made a, a tremendous effort to make it um, simpler and better organized. But mm -hmm. um, what is really fascinating um, about at least my IFLA or the IFLA is <laughs> people, is people, because it's a, for me, it's the human factor who uh, gives the identity mm. of an organization. Um, in IFLA, uh, people who are members of the standing committee, even if you are a chair, a secretary, even if you become a division chair, we are all volunteers. And this means that you spend uh, your time and uh, many times your uh, uh, your your money in order to to go to the conference into the meetings and so on, and uh, this means that you love to be uh, with and to work with people with whom you share the same values, and these values has to do with uh, the promotion of knowledge the promotion of libraries, the openness, uh, the, the respect of the um, diversity, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, to, to feel that you are embraced by a community with whom you really share uh, the same values. For me, this is the most important. So mm. uh, I think uh, when you really feel welcome and when you feel you find 
perspectives and opportunities in order to open uh, your network, your professional network, but also mm -hmm. in order to make friends, I mean real friends. This uh -huh. is, uh, I think this is an opportunity that no one uh, 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 could miss. It's, it's really a huge opportunity to meet uh, people from all over the world, um, uh, working in, in different libraries, having different experiences, uh, in order to share uh, these kind of experiences and create projects and move on and develop, develop also yourself as a personality and, and, as, and as a professional and also to help your library, your university, your bank and also mm -hmm. to your community because libraries are the most social uh, hubs. I really, I strongly believe it, Cindy. So one of the things that you started to allude to is how uh, being involved with IFLA, um, you learn things that you can bring back to your organization and to your country. Um, has there ever been a time where your what you're doing locally is um, in sync or out of sync with what IFLA is doing? And if so, how would you address that? And the reason why I ask the question is that you've held so many different positions within IFLA that you've seen the library world and the library philosophy from a different perspective. Yes, first of all, it's as you say, it's an, it's a, 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 it opens it's it's a night to the world. For me, mm -hmm. it was a big window. It was a big door that it opened, and um, an international world um, came in front of my eyes. Uh, it's like um, think globally and act nationally. Right. Um, right. It's it's really important. And when I I became the head of the national library, I tried to um, act in a in a way and um, to provide services to people uh, like. Um, to to uh, to 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 make the national library more open to people mm. uh to uh attract the different categories of um, readers and users that, that uh, we we didn't have in the past and to market the national library itself these were the things that maybe if i was not so much involved in the management marketing section of ifla and in ifla maybe um I I, I wouldn't do, uh, but of course this is a different perspective, and sometimes right. it's not very welcome when you act, um, uh, you know, in, right. in a national level. Um, but you do what you think that um, it's best because you have your eyes and your mind in the future, and this mm -hmm. is really what is, what is the most important. I really, I really appreciate what you're saying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's it's a very um, innovative way of looking at where information is coming from and and how it helps your populations, the different populations. So, um, trying to think of um, where to take this next. So, are there? When I see you at the conferences, I see you talking with so many different groups of people, uh, all the different countries, all the different nationalities. You're just there talking and, and introducing yourself to people and introducing people to other people. Um, how do you make those connections and what, what do you get out of those connections? Um, first of all, um the what is what is the important part it's um the professional expanding mm -hmm. your network it's a good because you have different feedback of what is going on in the library mm. field worldwide but also when you meet uh, an XP, uh, other people and many people from all over the world uh, you understand better yourself and you understand uh, better how to, to respect the other people, even if they are coming uh, from uh, different countries or from all over the world, even they have uh, different uh, perspectives and different mentality of what you have. Right. And you understand that what we mean by saying a global library um, field 
is really a global library uh, field. And when we are talking about openness and um, respect and democracy, we must mean it, not it's just uh -huh. words for words. You, 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 you have to mean it. So, yes, I am I'm always open. I all, I'm always open to people. I'm always listen to people because um, the good thing is not only to talk to people. The good thing is to listen to people and not just listen to people. Listen, you mean you think of what they are saying to you about their opinions that perhaps they are different from yours but you have to listen uh, and of course this is democracy i'm coming from uh, from a country where democracy was right. born so i am i i am um, this is uh, the way that um i passionate am. Yeah. And of course, Cindy, the most important is, uh, as I, I said in the very beginning, I made some uh, really f uh, real friends for a lifetime. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, Nancy Gwynn was for me my mentor. She was the one who pushed me to, uh, to become an officer and then a division chair and then to, to run uh, for um, a president-elect. And I will never forget here. And I will never forget this, with this woman, we were working so hard when we were uh, chair and secretary in, in our section and spending time and time and time. And all this was really in a volunteer basis. Right. And of course, uh, friends like... Um, uh, Christy Kunz, Rezan um, Savar, mm -hmm. Pavy Ko Koyomaki, um, Silver Mercier, who really changed the way that we uh, we worked in the in the jury uh, with um, the the technology uh, and 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 so on. Uh, Sueli Mara Ferreira, uh, um, uh, and uh, I'm so proud that, uh, except for myself, uh, our newly elected president elect. Uh, 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 Leslie right. Weir mm. is a member of our of our section, and I love Leslie, and we work, have worked together, and I'm sure that she will be become a, a wonderful president. And of course, I won't forget that also Claudia Lux, mm -hmm. one of the most prominent and respectful and uh, productive IFLA president. Uh, is coming from from our uh, our section, and there are other people uh, like Perry Murray and mm -hmm. uh, you, Cindy, that you have organized this amazing, amazing midwinter meeting in the Federal Reserve <laughs> Bank in San Francisco. We, we had such a wonderful time and so professionally uh, done. And Ruth Olholt and mm -hmm. Mila Zaiseva from Russia and uh, uh, so Henry many. Silva People. And so many people, but I, I want to, to mention, and Jim Mullins, uh, who right. um, has uh, produced this wonderful uh, volume um, about promoting library services and designing marketing strategies, where I had also um, a, a paper. And of course, um, I would like to mention uh, some of our past uh, chairs, like Trina Calderop, uh, like Angels um, um, Massissimo. I'm sure that I forget many of them. But, um, <laughs> I it's people that um, I would like to mention because it, yes. it's people, the human, the human capital, who made and makes this section that brilliant section that it is, and I hope it will be for the next fifty-five years. Well, you're definitely an example of your generosity and your enthusiasm for what people contribute to IFLA and to the M&M &M division section. Um, so as we get close to um, closing this up, are there any other thoughts or um, ideas that you want to share with us? First of all, I would like to, um, to urge people uh, who are really interested in management marketing to join the section. Second, I would like to underline that this section has become so uh, legendary, let's say, because <laughs> this section can cooperate with other sections. 
um, it's it's really important that we had so many successful um, uh, sessions organized in cooperation with the academic library uh, and research library uh, section, with uh, the school library section, with the public library section, uh, with uh, CBWL um, and with mm -hmm. other sections and SIGs, uh, like the local history and so on. So, and the women uh, section and SIG and so on. So, uh, for me, this is really important and I really hope and wish the people in the management marketing um, standing committee uh, nowadays, they will continue uh, this human capital legacy because the, the profile of an organization is given by its people. It's not about the money. It's not about the huge projects. It's only about people. And what really uh, can make um, uh, an organization great is really the human capital and the democratic leadership and way of, um, of, of how you deal with people. So I'm really so proud to be for so many years and a member uh, of the Sudden Committee uh, of the Management Marketing Section. And um, I feel blessed that I have met all these uh, people, that I have met you and all our friends, City. For me, it's um, something that it's invaluable. And uh, I really, I'm really sure that in the future, we will have uh, opportunities to work together in various aspects. Thank you so much for your time and your energy and enthusiasm, Tonya. It's, um, this interview has been exactly what I knew it was going to be because you're so, you have so many great ideas and you're, the graciousness that comes from you is just so evident. So um, I know that you've contributed a lot to M&M and to IFLA over the years, and I expect to see that continue. And I really look forward to seeing you in person soon. So thank you so much. <laughs> I, I I hope so. Um, as you as you know, because of the um, of of what um, uh, of the loss of my mom, I won't be able, and I wouldn't right. be able. Uh, I, I knew it uh, of, because of she had a very difficult year, and uh, she passed away uh, less than a month ago. So I wouldn't be. But uh, let's hope for. Um, maybe uh, 2025 and let's see right but we and will be in touch as i am in touch with many with many people and uh, i really want to send my heartfelt wishes to management and marketing uh, section for big success and uh, to all the people who are the, in the in the current standing committee uh, my very best wishes and my admiration for the work that they keep on doing and of course my hello and my love to all the past standing committee uh, members and uh, to to all my friends please all stay healthy and strong thank you and best wishes to you thank you cindy thank you it was really a great pleasure to talk with you thank you so much for this all right bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.